Hello everyone, this is Swati, working as assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Dundika. In this lecture, we will discuss about multiplexers and demultiplexers. What, are, what do you mean by multiplexer? What are the various types of multiplexers? It's uh, block diagrams, truth tables and logic diagrams and also the applications of multiplexers where actually these multiplexers are used and demultiplexers again uh, the block diagrams, truth tables, logic circuits and boolean uh, that is uh, logical expressions for the demultiplexers of various types and then uh, we'll also see the uh, applications of demultiplexers. So first of all multiplexers and demultiplexers. These are mainly used in communication. In network transmission, both the multiplexers and demultiplexers are used and these are the combinational circuits. Multiplexers select an input from several an input from several inputs, then it is transmitted in the form of a single line. So that means in other way we can say that. So, for example, in a communication, whenever we are sending our information, we may we may have number of inputs, that means we may have some number of signals among which we need to select a signal and that is to be sent through the channel and that is to be uh, sent to a, de a particular destination. So, in such case, we use a combinational circuit, which is nothing but a multiplexer, which can be able to select any one input from several inputs and that is sent to one single output line. So an alternative for name for uh, multiplexer is MUX or data selector. That means a multiplexer in short can also be called as a MUX and it is uh, also called as data selector because among a number of inputs we are selecting mm -hmm. any one input and that is sent to the single output line. So that means it is used as a data selector which is which input is sent to the uh, is to be sent to the output line. So that is why we are calling it as data selector. And uh, demultiplexer it performs the reverse operation of multiplexer which uses whereas in uh, uh, multiplexer we have several inputs and one output we have. So in demultiplexer reverse only one input we have so many destinations we have then among the destinations, we need to select any one destination and that single input can be sent to that particular output line, selected output line. So this is demultiplexer. So demultiplexer uses one input signal and generates many output signal. So it is known as demultiplexer or data distributor. So this is the block diagram of a communication system using multiplexer and demultiplexer. So the multiplexers are always used at the transmitter side in order to select any one of the signal source from many. And uh, whereas in demulti uh, in receiver side at the receiving end, we'll be using the demultiplexer in order to select any one of the destination, several destinations we have, we need to select only one destination and the, the, the data transmitted will be sent to that particular selected destination and that can be performed by using demultiplexer. So multiple signals, multiplexer, among the multiple signals, it selects only one and it will be sent to the channel that is single communication channel, wire or radio and that the selected data will be sent to any one of the many output lines. So that any one output can be selected by using demultiplexer. So we can find major applications of multiplexer and demultiplexers in communication. So MUX is mainly used to select any one of the signal source from many and DMUX is used to uh, select any one of the uh, output signal output uh, line in order to uh, in order to transmit the data so this is how we can find the applications of multiplexer and demultiplexer in communication so let us see in detail about multiplexer so first of all multiplexer it is a combinational circuit so we already know that what do you mean by combinational circuit it is a circuit in which the output depends only on the present input no other that is uh, it, it doesn't depend on the present state of the circuit 
it only depends on the input applied to the circuit at that particular moment. So we can say that the multiplexer is a combinational circuit which have many data inputs, single output, a single output, and we do have some other type of input that is control input or selection input. So among these many data inputs, any one of the input line is selected using the control inputs or selection input. So we can see that it is a combinational circuit which has many data inputs, selection inputs or control inputs and only one output line. So now for an end input line log n that is base 2 uh, log, in, uh, log in to the base 2 selection lines or we can say that for 2 power n input lines n selections or n selection lines are required. So that means any multiplexer which is having 2 power n input lines that is the powers of 2 input lines it must have two, it must have n selection lines okay and only one output line is required and the size of a multiplexer is defined by 2 power n by 1 where 2 power n represents the data inputs and 1 represents the number of output. This is represents the number of output. As I told you that multiplexer is a combinational circuit which has two types of inputs. One is data input and the other one is selection input and the other one is selection input. So how many data inputs we have? 2 power n whereas n selection inputs we have. What about the output? Only single output we have. So this is the multiplexer. So always you remember the size of a multiplexer is represented by 2 power n by 1 where 2 power n represents the number of data inputs and 1 represents the number of output line. So multiplexer are also known as data selector as I told you that it is mainly used to select any one input from the several input lines and it is also called as serial to see a parallel to serial converter. We have so many inputs and we are just converting it into a single output. So that is why we can also call it as parallel to serial converter many to one circuit that means we have many inputs and we are converting it into only for single output. So that is why we can also call this as many to one or uh, many to one circuit and universal logic circuit also we can call it as. So these are the other names for multiplexer data selector, parallel to serial converter, many to one circuit or universal logic circuit. That means we can also use that multiplexer for implementing any other Boolean function. So that is why we can also call this multiplexer as universal logic circuit because uh, as we all know that NAND and NOR are universal logic gates why because we can implement any other logic using NAND and NOR so like that using this multiplexer I can implement any circuit so that is why this multiplexer is also known as universal circuit universal logic circuit so multiplexers are mainly used to increase the amount of data that can be sent over a network within certain amount of time and bandwidth. So the, it finds major applications in communication. In how, in what sense it is used in communication? So it can be used to increase the amount of data that can be transmitted over a network or a channel within a certain time or bandwidth within the given time or bandwidth if you want to say, transmit large amount of data then we can go for multiplexers so if you see this one this diagram is the lo uh, logic symbol or it's block diagram for the uh, multiplexer whose size is given by 2 power n by 1 where 2 power n is a number of data inputs so this side we have seen uh, i have shown you the data inputs Okay, input data lines. How many input data lines we have? 2 power n. So these are the 2 power input lines and n selection lines we have. So these lines represent the selection lines. So how many selection lines we have? 0, 1, 2 and so on. n minus 1. Totally n selection lines. Totally we have n selection lines and uh, one output line. So this is the block diagram for multiplexer. Multiplexer is having two power n data inputs and n selection inputs and one output. So this is the main thing that we need to remember. So based on this, we can have any number of, uh, that means uh, the, here, if you can see 
the size of a multiplexer can be given by 2 power n by 1 so where n can be either where n can be either z uh, either uh, uh, <coughs> either 1 or 2 or 3 or so or, and so on so if it is 2 power 1 so if it if n is 1 then what is the uh, possible uh, size of multiplexer 2 power n by 1 where output lines is fixed n is 1 so output line is only 1 mm -hmm. for any type of multiplexer but the number of selection lines may be varying so without any selection why should i start from zero selection line should be at least one selection line should be there so that is why i am starting from one instead of zero if i take n is equals to one the possible size of multiplexer is two by one in this case n is equals to one is the selection line and two power one that is two is the data lines and one is the output line now let us see the least possible multiplexer that is a two by one multiplexer so as the name itself indicating two by one multiplexer two data inputs two data inputs one selection input one selection input two power one is two right and one output one output so this is uh, the two by one multiplexer so a two by one multiplexer consists of two inputs and uh, two inputs are represented with a naught a1 one selection input which is represented with s naught and one output it is represented with y depending on the selection input so as the name itself indicating i have n number of data inputs so i have to select only one uh, only one from that uh, more selection and uh, more data inputs so that selection can be done with the help of select selection line so as i have only one selection line i can have all these are digital circuits that we deal with the data binary data 0 and 1 so as I have only one selection line, so this selection line may take either 0 or 1 if and two data inputs A0 and A1 and one output. So this is the logic symbol or else block diagram for the 2 by 1 multiplexer where we have two inputs A0 and A1 and one selection line S or S0. Let us consider this as S0 and uh, one enable input is there and one output. What is the meaning of enable input? So enable for every digital circuit, we have enable input. If this enable input is logic zero, then only the circuit is enabled and it performs it prescribed operation. So multiplexer performs a data selection operation only when the circuit is enabled. So as this is active high input, so we have to consider when it is one, then only the circuit is enabled. If it is zero, the circuit is disabled. If you have uh, um, active low input, active low means complement of the enable signal is given here. So if the enable if the enable input is zero, then it is getting complemented and it is becoming one when uh, before applying it to the multiplexer. So that means when it is active low, if the enable input is zero, then only the circuit is enabled. And it can perform the data selection operation. If if it is active high, when enable input is one, then only the circuit is enabled, and it performs a data selection operation. So now, once the data, uh, once the multiplexer is enabled, now based on the selection input, how many selection inputs we have? Only one, and whose value can be either zero or one. If the selection input is zero, then the uh, line which is having its decimal equivalent as zero will be selected and whatever the data that is present on this set data input will be sent to the output y. So again, this is a binary input, right? So this A0 may be either equal to zero or one. Whatever the data that is present on this will be sent to y. If selection input is one, then A1 is selected and whatever the data that A1 is having that will be transmitted to Y. So that is the 2 by 1 multiplexer. So we can write the Boolean function for output Y as how can I write the Boolean function for output Y. So here when S is equals to 0 and when S is equals to 0 I can represent it as complement. Okay, so y is equals to a naught when s is equals to 0, when s is equals to 0. So that is why I can say that y is equals to, sorry, y is equals to either this or this based on the selection input. So s naught bar 
into a plus when s1 is selected a1 is selected when uh, s is equals to 1 then a1 is selected so that means s not bar s not bar and sorry s not is 1 right 1 means we have to take it in true form s not into a1 so this is the boolean function okay either this or this so for example s is equals to 0 which one should be selected if s is equals to 0 i am sending this one i am putting this in equation when s is equals to 0 okay when s not is equals to 0 then what happens i should get y is equals to a not so i am substituting this one in this equation so s not complement it becomes 1 a dot a not plus s not is already 0 dot a1 so 0 dot a1 is 0 where y is equals to a naught. So this is the first case. When second case, so when uh, S naught is equals to 1, then what happens? Y is equals to S naught complement. So means 1 complement 0 into A naught plus 1 into A1. So this becomes 0 and hence it becomes Y is equals to A1. That means what? When S is equals to 0, then the selection data input A naught is selected and the output Y is equals to A naught. When S is equals to 1, A1 is selected and the output Y is equals to A1. That is the meaning of this one. Now, to implement that, so what is the equation we have got? Y is equals to S complement or S, S, S not complement into A not plus S, S into A1. So, this is the equation. So, I have taken A not and A1 as the inputs here and I have taken one selection input. Okay. And it is complemented. So, in order to select A0, it should be complemented. So, S0 complement or else S complement. And here, A0. So, what is the output of this one? S0, S1, S complement, A, A0. And this one is S into A1. When S is equals to 1, then only A1 is selected. So, S into A1, then A0 into S complement plus A1 into S. So, this is the equation. Finally, we have an OR again and give it to the then this is the logic circuit. So, this is multiplexer 2 by 1. Now, the next possible multiplexer size is 4 by 1 multiplexer. It has 4 inputs that is i3, i2, i1 and i0, day 4 data inputs and uh, so it is 4 by 1. So, means what? 2 power 2 by 1. So, means what? 4 data inputs we have and 2 selection input. Two selection inputs are represented with S0 and S1, okay, and only one output. So, this is the uh, 4 by 1 multiplexer. Anyhow, we can add an enable input. We can add an enable input. It is an optional one, but definitely you remember that for every circuit, digital circuit, there will be an enable input. If that enable input is high, then only the circuit will be enabled and it can perform its prescribed operation. So, this is the block diagram here. As we have four inputs, so we are representing that four inputs as I0, I1, I2 and I3. And we have two selection inputs. Those are represented with S0 and S1 and output Y. So, this is the, now, as we have selection inputs for two selection inputs, how many possible combinations are there for this two selection inputs? So, 2 part 2, which is 4. And what are those? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Always MSB, LSB, right? So, these are the inputs. So, this is the truth table for 4 by 1 multiplexer. So, selection inputs and output when the selection inputs are 0 and 0 so what you can say uh, what is the decimal what is the subscript of this line i not whereas when both are 0 what is the decimal equivalent of this selection input decimal equivalent of this selection input is 0 so that is why when selection inputs are 0 i not is selected because the subscript is equals to the decimal equivalent of selection input so i not is selected and whatever the data that is present on it will be sent to the y and when S0, S1, S0 is 1 and S1 is 0. So, what is the decimal equivalent? It is 1. So, I1 will be selected. <coughs> and whatever the data that is present on I1 will be sent. In that case, Y is equals to I1. Similarly, 1, 0, y, I2 will be selected. When selection input is 1, 1, I3 is selected and the output is equals to I3. So, this is the truth table here. 0, 0, Y is equals to I0. 0, 1, Y is equals to I1. 1, 0, I, y is equals to I2, 1, 1, y is equals to 
I3. So this is the uh, truth table for 4 by 1 multiplexer, selection inputs and outputs. So now I can write down the equation. So multiplexer, either I0 or I1 or I2 or I3. So that is why I can see that y is equals to when I0 is selected when both are 0. Can I write the, uh, what can I write the product term for this one? As both are 0, I can write down the product term as S0 complement, S, S1 complement into S0 complement. And then finally, so S1 complement, S0 complement into I0 is equals to Y. If S1, S0 and S1 are 0, 1. So the min term for this one or else product term for this one is S1 complement S0. And this one S1 S0 complement S1 S0. So this is the equation. So this S0 S1 complement S0 complement I0. S1 complement S0 I1. S1 S0 complement I2. S1 S0 I3 plus. So either of these will be selected. And according to that circuit, we have this. Uh, um, according to that uh, Boolean function, I can draw the logic, logic diagram for this one like this. So, how many product terms we have? Four product terms we have. In order to implement four product terms, we require logic gates. Which kind of logic gate? AND gate. So, these are the four AND gates we have. Four AND gates we have. And one OR gate finally. So, the four AND gates, the in one of the inputs are I0, I1, I2, I3. So, the first AND gate I0. So, to which we are applying, this is S1 complement and this is S0 complement. This is S1 complement and this is S0 complement. So now this one is again S1 complement whereas this one is S0. S0 is coming here and this one S1, this one is coming S1 and then S0 complement whereas both are S1 only. So this is S1 and this is S0. So both are S1 and I, I3. So finally what I'll get S1 complement, sorry. S1, S0, I3. Next to this one is S1, S0 complement, I2. Next this one is S1 complement, S0, I1. And S0 comp S1 complement, S0 complement, I0. So finally the expression will be realized. That is 4 by 1 max. Next 8 by 1 max. In the 8 by 1 multiplexer, there are total 8 data input lines which are varying from I0 to I7 or else a0 to A7 and uh, so as we have 8 input lines, how can I represent this 8 as a power of 2, 2 power 3? So 3 are the selection inputs. So we have 8 data inputs, 3 selection lines and 1 output and the 3 selection lines are again represented as S0, S1, S2. So this is the block diagram in which we have 3 selection lines S0, S1, S2. This is S1. This is S2, sorry. And these are the eight data inputs. So A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, and one A1 enable input and one multiplexer output that is Y. So always, whenever you are drawing the logic symbol, you should mention the circuit name for that uh, block inside it. So on the basis of combination of inputs that are present at the selection line. So as we have three selection line, two power three, eight data, eight uh, combinations we'll have. Based on the combination, any one of the data input line will be selected and whatever the data present on it will be sent to the output. So this is a truth table of eight by one marks. So as we have three selection lines, eight combinations, zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, one, one, one. So A7, A6, A5, A4, A3, A2, A1 and A0. So these are the outputs here. Now coming to the logical expression, either of this, when selection input is 0, 0, 0, A0 is selected and hence Y is equals to A0. So for that, S0. So as all are zeros, I can write S0 complement, S1 complement, S2 complement. So S0 complement, S1 complement, S2 complement into A0 plus next combination. What is the next combination? 0, 0, 1. So S2 complement, S1 complement, S0. Okay, so like that we can write down the boolean function for everything and then finally the logic circuit is given. So as I have four product terms, four, sorry, eight combinations, I need to have eight AND gates 
of four input each and then finally the outputs of all the eight or eight and gates is given as input to the one or gate so we have selection inputs for every selection input to take its complement form we have an inverter so these are the inverters here so this is s2 s2 complement s1 s1 complement s0 s0 complement so now coming to this one we are going to implement this using this logic circuit okay so this is the eight by one multiplexer now like that you can have any size multiplexer in which the number of data input lines can be expressed as power of two combination now let us implement the following higher order multiplexers using lower order so as a complexity as the size of the multiplexer increases the number of logic gates required to implement that will also increase so that is why in order to reduce that we can implement a higher order multiplexers using lower order multiplexers such as 8 by 1 max 16 by 1 max and um, eight, uh, so and four by one max, even two by one max also. So by using all those uh, low, uh, lower order multiplexes, we can implement all the other higher order uh, multiplexer. Now let us see the eight by one multiplexer. So let us implement eight by one multiplexer using four by one max and two by one max. So I told you that max is the short name for multiplexer. You can also use that max. So we are going to implement 8 by 1 max using 4 by 1 max. Now how many 4 by 1 max are required? How many 2 by 1 max are required in order to implement 8 by 1 max? So as we all know that 4 by 1 multiplexers. So just uh, we have seen 4 by 1 max. So how many inputs are there? We have 4 data inputs and uh, 2 selection inputs, 2 selection inputs and 1 output. So this is the 4 by 1 max. Now what I want to do, I want to implement 8 by 1 max using 4 by 1. So first of all, what are the number of data inputs? 8 data inputs we have. In order to select any one of these from 8, uh, uh, any one of this, you know, any one of the input from these 8 data inputs, I need to have 3 selection inputs. So 3 selection inputs are again S2, S1, S0, right? So here, to implement this using 4 by 1 max and 2 by 1 max. So 4 by 1 max is having 4 inputs and 2 data, uh, 4 data inputs, 2 selection inputs and 1 output. So among the 4 data, uh, 4 selection inputs, I want to use S1 and S0 as the uh, uh, selection input for 4 by 1 max. So as we all know that, what are all the combinations? 0, 0, 0. So these are the eight possible combinations for the three input uh, multiplexers. So right, if you observe the first four, the uh, first two S2, S1, S0. First two combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And next two again 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Whereas only MSB is changing. So let's just leave the MSB and write down and give these S1 and S0 as the selection inputs for the 2 by 1, sorry, 4 by 1 max. So a 4 by 1 multiplexer has 4 data inputs, 2 selection inputs and 1 output line. 8 by 1 multiplexer has data inputs, 8 data inputs, 3 selection lines and 1 output. So now what we can do? So we require, so I have to have uh, 2 data, 8 data inputs, right? But with the help of 4 by 1 max, I can have only 4 data inputs. To have 8 data inputs, I should use 2 4 by 1 max, 4 by 1 max. So 2 4 by 1 max in the first stage in order to get the 8 data inputs. Since each 4 by 1 multiplexer produces an output, the, uh, the requ uh, uh, we require a 2 by 1 multiplexer in second stage. So as we all know that, as we are using 4 by 1 max, so 4 by 1 max, mm -hmm. for 2 4 by 1 max we are using. And uh, so finally, what I want to get, I want to get uh, uh, an uh, I want to implement an 8 by 1 multiplexer using 4 by 1 max. So for that, I need to take two 4 by 1 multiplexer with which I can have eight, I can have eight inputs here. And then among that, we need to <coughs> 
So next, uh, so finally, how many outputs we have? Two outputs, but I don't want two outputs. I have to design eight by one. So among these four outputs, I have to use one more two by one mux. So two by one mux means one selection input, two data inputs. Based on the value of selection inputs, I can select any one of these and I can get the output. So this is the implementation of higher order multiplexers using uh, using lower order multiplexers. So this is the eight by one multiplexer two table. You just see. Uh, so when uh, it's not S one S two or zero zero zero, then the output y is equals to i naught and so on. When all the selection inputs are one, y is equals to i seven. So now I want to implement an eight by one multiplexer using two four by one marks. So these are the four by one marks. So whenever you are designing, so as we have three selection inputs, among the selection inputs, only consider n bits, n bits. Okay. So here zero, so not n, n minus one bits, n minus one bits from LSB. So that is as we have. Uh, three selection inputs n minus one means two. From LSB we need to take two selection inputs. So that is S not S one. So take S not S one and take two four by one marks for the first of or else upper four uh, uh, four by one marks. I am giving the inputs as I four I five I six I seven. Whereas for the lower multiplexer, I can uh, have, uh, give the data inputs as I not I one I two I three. So as these are the four by one multiplexers, I need to give two selection inputs. So take the two selection inputs from the selection inputs of four by eight by one max. So I am taking the least two, uh, least n, um, n bits as the selection input whenever you are implementing such kind of higher order multiplexers using lower. Order. So as we require, as I am using four by one max, I require two selection inputs. So those two are the selection inputs that we have to consider. From LSB to N bits, so S not and S one are the uh, selection inputs here. As we do have two outputs, I'm using one more two by one multiplexer, uh, which is having only one input line. So based on whether it is zero, this one will be selected. If it is one, this one will be selected, right? So this is the implementation and why. Now let us consider uh, by taking a condition one one zero is that this is selection input one one zero. So what is the value of S two one? S one is one. S not is zero. Now based on this circuit, as S one and S not, S one is one and S not is zero, right? So now as it is S one zero and S not one. So what is the value? Decimal equivalent of this one that is two, because zero 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 one one zero one one. This is zero one two. Three right. So as the decimal equivalent is two, uh, so uh, so the second line in the upper and lower multiplexer are selected. Second line means this five and this two are selected. Sorry, not that two. So one zero right? Zero one two. Yes, third line. Third line we need to select. So I six will be selected and I two will be selected. And what about the S two value? So now the outputs are available. So now for the two by one max, I am giving the other selection input which is S two. So now we are getting two inputs to the two by one max. Now what is the S two value which is equals to one, which is equals to one? If the selection input is one, then which line will be selected? Upper line will be selected. So this upper line is selected and the output Y is equals to this upper line. So what we have got here, we are getting I six here and we are getting I two here. So as S two is one, this is not selected, and this one is selected. So that is I six. So Y is equals to I six. Okay, Y is equals to I six. So this is the operation of multiplexer and implementing higher order multiplexers using lower order multiplexers. So the same selection lines S one and S not are applied to both four by one multiplexers. The data input of upper four by one multiplexer are I seven I four. And the data inputs of lower order multiplexer uh, is uh, that is I three I naught. So each four by one multiplexer produces an output based on the value of selection input, and uh, uh, selection in uh, based on the value of selection inputs S naught and S one. So and based on the input values, so that is selection input values S not and S one, any one of the multiplexer output, uh, any one of the input line is selected and it is sent to the output. 
the output of first stage 4 by 1 multiplexers are applied as input to the 2 by 1 multiplexer. Just now we have seen these are the outputs, these are given as again input to the 2 by 1 multiplexer. Right? So, performs as an 8 by 1 multiplexer. Similarly, I can also implement a 16 by 1 multiplexer using two 8 by 1 multiplexer and 2 by 1 multiplexer. So, this is the implementation of 16 by 1 max using 8 by 1. So, actually 16 combinations. So, let us consider A, B, C, D, right? So, now what are the 16 combinations? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 and 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, sorry, not this one, uh, 3, right? After 3, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, triple 1, right? This is 4. And uh, we can also have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and uh, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, uh, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, and then finally, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, these are the 16 combinations that is a 16 by 1 multiplexer requires 16 inputs. So, these 16 inputs can be divided into two halves for which the L L MSB is 0 and the for the second half MSB is 1. Remaining things A, B, C, D values are varying from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. Here also B, C, D values are varying from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. So, now I am taking these three inputs and I am giving a selection input for the both 8 by 1 multiplexers. So, these are the 8 by 1 multiplexer to which the selection inputs are given as S0, S1, S2. What about S3? S3 is given to the 2 by 1 max. So, okay. And here we have the input 0 to 7 and then 8 to 15. Now, let us consider 1, 0, 1, 0. So, this is S3, S2, S1, S0. Now, what are the values of S0, S1, S2? So, here this is uh, 0, 1, 0. So, if as both uh, multiplexers are applied with same uh, selection inputs. So, here uh, what is the decimal equivalent of this one? 2. So, the second line in both the multiplexers is enabled. So, I2 and in this one I10. I2 and I10 are selected. So, now what is coming here? I10 and this one is I2. So, now again selection input may be third selection input may be one here if it is one so it will not be selected only i10 is selected so y is equals to i10 y is equals to i10 that means what is the decimal equivalent 1010 is 10 so whatever the 10th line data line we have whatever the data that is present on it will be sent to the output y is equals to i10 so like that you can uh, you can define any or uh, we can implement any or uh, size multiplexers using lower uh, lower order multiplexers right so now i want to implement a 4 by 1 max max using uh, sorry 16 by 1 max using 4 by 1 let us try to so actually 4 by 1 max has only 4 inputs right but I require 16 inputs so how many 4 by 1 max I have to take 4 4 by 1 max I have to take I am taking the 4 4 by 1 max here 4 4 by 1 max I am taking and I am giving the I am giving the order in this one I0, I1, I2, I3 and this one is I4, I5, I6, I7, I8, I9, I10, I11 and this one is I12, I13, I14, I15. So these are the inputs. So as it is a 4 by 1 max, how many selection lines we have? We have two selection lines. So, I am just giving the two selection lines. Okay. So, and here as I told you that if a 4 by 1, 16 by 1 max require four selection lines S3, S2, S1, S1. So, now here I can give the least significant selection inputs as selection inputs for the first level. This is the first level S1, S1. And this is also S1, S0. This is also S1, S0. Okay. So, and uh, for this one, so here S1, S0. So, these are the 
4 by 1 mux. So after 4 by 1 mux, how many outputs we have? We have five, uh, 4 outputs, but among which I need to take only one output. I need to take only one output. So here, this uh, we have 4 inputs here. So that is why what I can do, I can also take one more 4 by 1 marks here. This is 0, 1, 2, 3 and already we have given least significant selection inputs as inputs here S0, S1, remaining or S2, S3 and finally we have output 1. Now let us decode. So what are uh, triple 1, 0 is there. Triple 1, 0 means what? 12, 14. 14 I have to get the output that means uh, for this condition y should be equals to i14 y should be equal to i14 now let us consider so what is the value of s0 s1 this is s1 s0 s2 s3 s0 s1 is 1 1 0 1 0 means uh, z, uh, this is 0 1 2 3 1 0 means 2 so two second line will be selected so this line is selected okay so this line and this line is selected, this line is selected, and this line is selected. So that means in this case, if S1 and S0 are 1, 0, in that case, I can get I0, I14 here, and this case, I will get I10, and in this case, I'll get I6, and in this case, I will get uh, I2, right? So now, again, what are these other two selection inputs? Other two selection inputs are 1 and 1. So if it is 1 and 1, so I, I will be selecting this line. This I3 will be selected. So that is equals to, sorry, this is 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. So here now in this case, this line will be selected. This line will be selected and it is connected to I14. So I, hence Y is equals to I14. What is the decimal equivalent here? 14. So I14 is selected. So this is the implementation of 16 by 1 multiplexer using 4 by 1. So like that you can implement any other higher order multiplexers using lower order multiplexers. So it is about multiplexer. So coming uh, applications of multiplexer, it can be used in communication systems, computer memory, telephone uh, telephone networks. Uh, so telephone networks. We can have so many conversations, so which is to be uh, sent to a particular, which is to be directed to a particular line. So in that case, I can use computer net, uh, telephone network, transmission from the computer system to a satellite, computer system of a satellite, and communication systems. We find uh, so many applications of multiplexer and arithmetic logic unit. Stat, stat, serial to parallel converter and uh, photo credit. So these are the applications of multiplexers. Now coming to the demultiplexer. So as, I, as we all know that demultiplexer is a combination circuit which performs the reverse operation of uh, multiplexer. And it is having only one input, two parent data input lines, sorry, two parent output lines and n selection lines. So now why do we need selection lines here? So as we have two parent output lines, we need to select any one from the two parent output lines. So how can we select? Using the selection input. So depending on the selection input, any one of the output line is selected and whatever the data that is present on the input channel, input lines will be sent to the output. So this is about uh, demultiplexer. The information received from a single input line and directed to the output line. On the basis of the values of selection lines, the input will be connected to one of these outputs. So by the different, depending on the combination of uh, combina uh, combination values of selection lines, any one of the input will be selected. Demultiplexer is also known as uh, is also known as uh, DMUX. Okay, is also known as DMUX, and it is also called as data distributor because we are selecting any one of the output line and the input data is sent to that particular output line. So that is why we can also call it as distribute. It distributes the data over n output lines. So the least, uh, the size of B multiplexer can be given by, uh, so what is the number of input? One. And how many output lines we have? Two power n. So one by two power n is the size of the B multiplexer. So 1 by 2 power n, if I take n is equals to 1, then 1 by 2 power 1, which is equals to 1 by 2, right? So this is a block diagram of 1 by 2 dmax.
So we have one input A and one selection input S, one enable input E and two outputs Y1, Y. Okay, so two outputs, two parent outputs and one input and N selection lines. So N selection lines, uh, one out input and two parent outputs. So enable input again same, if it is one, then only the circuit is enabled and it performs its operation. So now what happens? Depending on the selection input, this may be either 1 or 0. If it is 1, so Y1 will be selected and the data will be sent to Y1. In that case, Y1 is equal to A. If it is 0, then Y0 is selected and the data which is present on that A will be sent to Y1. So this is a uh, operation. Now coming to the truth table, only we have one selection input, S0, which may have 0 and 1. And the outputs are Y1 y not so if a selection input is 0 y not output is equals to a so that means is equals to a means what whatever the data that is present on a will be sent to the output y so y1 uh, what about y no, uh, y1 it is considered to be 0 and if it is 1 selection input is 1 then y1 is uh, uh, a and y not is equals to 0 so based on this i can write down the equation for y not it is equals to a when s is equal, s not is equals to one so that is why i can write it as y not is equals to s not complement into a and similarly y1 is equals to s not into a so this is the these are the two boolean expression now we can explain we can draw the logic circuit so how can we draw the logic circuit so let us take s not here and it is s not complement right so i'm taking and gate okay to which the output is why not okay so here one of the input to this and gate is uh, s not complement so one of the input co input combination is uh, which is equals to which is equals to s not complement okay which is equals to s not complement and this one is a this one is a Okay, and similarly, y1. y1 can be obtained by taking S0 and A. So, this is y1. So, y1 is equal to S0 into S0 complement into A. And this one, y1 is equal to S complement into, sorry, S0 into A. This is S0 into A. So, this is the logic circuit. Now, coming to the another multiplexer which is a 2 1 by 4 dmax which is having four outputs y0 y1 y2 y3 two selection inputs s0 and s1 and single input a so on the basis of combination of inputs which are present at the selection lines s0 and s1 the input be connected to one of the outputs so here this is a 4 by 1 by 4 max so one input two selection inputs four outputs four data uh, four uh, data outputs here so now y not is selected when these both are equal to zero and y1 is selected when a not is equals to zero and uh, sorry so here now based on the selection input zero zero y not is selected and y not is equals to a okay so that is happening when s not is equals to zero and s1 is equals to zero so this is a so similarly y1 can be written as a into so um, <clears throat> y1 is when uh, uh, so let us see the uh, truth table here when the selection inputs are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so what are the outputs we have y3 y2 y1 and y0 so when the selection inputs are 0 0 y0 is selected and whatever the data that is present on a will be sent to y0 so that is why all these are zeros only y0 is a next 0 1 y1 is a remaining all are zeros 0 2 that is uh, 1 0 then y2 is selected and all the remaining all are zeros okay and 1 1 it is equals to 3 that means y0 y3 is selected that is a and the remaining all are zeros so these are the expression now find out uh, now coming to the logic circuit you can draw the logic circuit so this is a logic circuit for 1 by 4 DMAX. So we have 4 AND gates and then we have 2 inputs here that is selection inputs S0, S1 and this is the external input A. 
okay or else data input so a can be connected to all the and gates here so if you look at this one this is a and this is a and this is a and this is also a so these are the gates which are given with a value and then i have inverters here so and uh, <coughs> these are given as input so why when y3 is selected when both are equals to 1 so that is why for this and gate s not as 1 and uh, a not is given and similarly uh, y2 y2 is selected only when s not is 1 and s1 is 0 or else y2 s1 is 1 and s not is 0 so that means s1 is 1 and sorry s uh, S1 is 1 and S0 is equals to 0. So that means here S0 is 1. Okay, so I can take it as S1, S0 component. So this gate S1 and S0 complement. So this is S0 complement. So this is S1, S0 complement. And this one is uh, S0, S1 complement and this is S0. Okay, uh, so and this one is. Uh, Sorry, this one is a no S not complement S one, and this one is S one S not. Okay, finally this is the logic circuit. Similarly, I can also implement an eight by one max. So eight by one D max. Sorry, one by eight D max. This is a one by eight D max. Three selection inputs, one data input, eight outputs, and these are the equations, logical expressions, and these are the outputs here. Selection inputs S two S one S not. When all are zeros, y not is selected and hence y not is equals to a. When 0, 0, 1, y1 one is a, remaining all are zeros. 0, 1, 0, then 2 is selected, that means y2 is selected and the remaining all are zeros. So y2 and the remaining all are zeros. So, like that, this is a truth table for a 1 by 8 DMAX. So, and this is the logic circuit. So, here y not, so how many inputs we have? For every output, S dot S1, S S2, and also one data input A. So this is a data input S not S not complement S1 S1 complement S2 S2 complements. So these are the logic gates and uh, their operation. Now coming to the one by eight demultiplexer using one by four and one by two demult. So we can also implement higher order demultiplexers using lower order demultiplexers, same as multiplexer so we can implement 1 by 8 multiplex demultiplexer using lower order demultiplexers to maintain the 1 by 8 demultiplexer we need two 1 by 4 dmax and one 1 by 2 dmax and uh, one uh, the 1 by 4 demultiplexer is having four uh, two selection lines four outputs and one input the 1 by 2 demultiplexer has only one selection line Similarly, for getting eight data outputs, we need to uh, we need to use one by four two one by four demultiplexers, one one by two demultiplexer, and proceed to two outputs. So this is the just operation how to convert. Since the order to uh, since uh, so in order to get the final output, we have to pass the outputs of one by two demultiplexer as an input to both of the 1 by 4 DMAX. So this is the implementation of 1 by 8 DMAX using 1 by 4 and 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 DMAX we have, so in which A, S2, and this is given, the output of these two is given as input to the uh, 1 by 4 demultiplexers in which we have four outputs, four outputs, two selection lines, right? Now, let us try to analyze the operation for we are implementing one by uh, eight bit multiplexer, so one zero one. So one zero one means S not S one S two. So based on this circuit, S two is kept as it is. So one zero. I want to check whether it is completely decoded or not. So here S two is one. So if it is one, so here this line will be selected. This line will be selected. Okay, and whereas this line is disabled. So now. So this is zero. Let us consider, and then S one S not. So what is the value of S not S one and S not S one and S not is zero one, or else S one is uh, S one S not 
whose s1 value is 0 and s0 value is 1. So now this is 0, this is 1. So now which will be selected? So here in this case, as it is 0, 1, it is 1. So that means here this will be selected. Okay, so this will be coming here, Y0, sorry, Y1, and then for in this one, Y5 is selected. In this one, Y5 is selected. So that means here, now again, what happens? We have 4 by 1 marks. How many outputs we have? So that is 16 outputs we have. 16 or 8, 8 outputs we have. So here, among which we can select any one of the data. So now, if so, this is the implementation of 16 by 1 by 8 DMAX using uh, 1 by 4 and 1 by 2 DMAX. 1 by 4 and 1 by 2 DMAX. Okay, so like that, based on this, we can perform the data. So, we can perform, uh, we, uh, so here now, uh, actually, this is 101, right? So, which output is equal to A? So, as it is 0, so this is coming here, whereas this is coming here. So, as it is selected, then Y5 is equals to A, then Y1 is equals to 0 because this MADI multiplexer is given with 0. So, and hence, the final output is equals to Y5 is equals to A. So, this is the implementation of 1 by A D multiplexer using 1 by 4 and 1 by 2. Similarly, we can also implement 1 by 16 DMAX using 1 by 8 DMAX and 1 by 2. So, here the lower order DMAX is taken as first level and the higher order DMAX is taken as second level. So, 1 by 2 again as it is uh, 4 by 1. So, what are the uh, number of selection inputs we can have? S3, S2, S1, S0. So, I am giving S3 as input to this one. So, here uh, based on this, if for example, 1, 1, 1, 0, this is there. So, here S3, S2, S1, S0. So, S3, what is the value of S3? 1. Now. So, as it is 1, so which line will be selected? This is uh, Y0, sorry, this is Y1 and this is Y1. So, Y0 will be selected and Y0 is equals to Y, whereas this is equals to 0. So, now I now, what are the inputs given? 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1 means 6. Sixth line. This is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sixth line means Y4 is selected. Y14 is selected. Y14 is equals to I because it is coming here I. Whereas this one is 0. And in this one, as the selection inputs are 1, 1, 0. So that means again 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is Y6 is enabled. So Y6 is en enabled, but what is the input given to this DMAX? 0. So thus Y6 is equal to 0. So that means in all the 16, only y Y14 is selected and it is given as a value of I. So that is the application, uh, the, uh, that is the implementation of 61 by 60, 1 by 16 D multiplexer using 1 by 2 and 1 by 8 DMAX. Now, coming to the applications, applications of demultiplexer are, so these are used to connect a single source to multiple destinations. So, we can connect it to single so, uh, it to a single source to multiple destination. Communication systems are also, we can use this demultiplexer. Communication system, use multiplexer to carry the multiple data like audio, audio, video and other forms of data using single line for transmission. So, these are the major applications of uh, demultiplexer. So, that is all for today. That is all for this lecture. So, I, I hope it is clear to you all. In this lecture, we have seen what is multiplexer, demultiplexer and what are the various types of multiplexers and demultiplexers, their logic diagrams, BN functions and all and the applications of multiplexers and demultiplexer. Uh, that's all for this lecture. Thank you everyone. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.